Welcome to the Fire Ant channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to CPU mine Epic Cache. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do to mine Epic Cache is you're going to need to go ahead and grab yourself a GUI wallet. So take yourself over to epic.tech or I will leave a link for you guys in the description. So what you need to do is go ahead and click on the download link here. So there'll be the Epic GUI wallet, the standalone. Go ahead and click on this and go through to their GitHub and what we're going to need to do once that we're there is make sure that we click and download the correct version so when we come down to here make sure that you click on the epic wallet dot setup 4.0.6 and grab yourself the beta version there the exe and that should be the one that will work for yourself once you've gone ahead and uh, download of that you'll go through the simple installation and it'll go ahead and it'll look something very very similar to this now, when it comes to setting up the bat files for Epic Cache, this is a completely separate, different type of cryptocurrency, and I'll show you guys and I'll walk you through step by step. So just make sure that you guys watch this video all the way through to the end, so you can fully see all the steps. So, let's take ourselves over to the mining pool stats where the pools are. So, for this mining uh, tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to mine to 51 pool dot online. Now, I was aware that when I started to mine to this. Once I set my bat file up, I was unable to actually go ahead and log into the pool. So what I'm going to be doing is talking you through exactly what you're going to need to do. And if you do come up with any errors, I'll show you guys exactly what you're going to need to do as well in that situation. So once you get yourself to the pool, you're going to be gre greeted with a login. So take ourselves down to the bottom. What we're going to need to do is you're going to need to pick the mining software of your choice. So for this instance, we're going to use SRB Miner. So if we can take ourselves over to here, we can just go ahead and press on the download for SRB Miner. And if we take ourselves down, where are we looking at here for this? Downloads. Download from the GitHub. And then if we just scroll ourselves down, it should be just there and then if we go ahead and click on this version right here okay so if we open this up and control J so it may come up as this type of you know dangerous file but that is perfectly fine now if we take ourselves to our desktop and we drag and drop this out so we've got ourselves a folder on the desktop If we go ahead and open this up, if we take this onto here, if we go ahead and take ourselves back over to the pool, and what we're going to need to do is we're going to go, go ahead and set ourselves up a bat file. So because this is going to be your guys' first time setting up your bat file, this part of the video is extremely important, so make sure you follow this step by step. So what you're going to need to do is go ahead and copy yourself the config example there. Take ourselves back over to the SRB miner folder. Let's just go ahead and make a new text document. Call this Epic Cache. Open this up. Paste the script that you just copied from the config there. Then what you're going to need to do is you need to go ahead and make yourself a username and password. So for myself, I, I'm going to use Farrington and call your working name whatever you want so for this exact PC I'm just gonna call it Ryzen 7 and then this part is also extremely important you need to just make sure that you put yourself a strong password in there and once you've done your password and you've gone ahead and you've created yourself your own account and you log into your dashboard you can go ahead and change your password inside of your uh, 51 pool uh, account and then once your account's changed on there you do not need to you know put a correct password into any of your bat files when you run them any password will work in there as long as the username's correct it'll go straight to your wallet from there so make sure that you put yourself a good strong password so capital P and put password maybe put yourself a one there and then what you need to do is just go ahead and press file save as and at the end here make sure that it's lowercase just put full stop BAT and if we go ahead and find this bat file let me just close off the original that I've got currently in mind at the moment if we go ahead and we run this 
we should now be successfully mining to 51 pool so as you can see there CPU rules are already accepted so let me just go ahead and just close this and then just run this as administrator as well just to make sure that we've got the MSR mod uh, also running on there as well okay so now that we've got this set up we've also let me just bring ourselves back to the SRB minor folder so if we go ahead and we open up the bat file so what we need to do if we take ourselves back over to the pool what we need to do is we need to go ahead and type in there the username that we just put into the bat file and then we'd also need to go ahead and throw in the password as well that we also created and throw that into the password section now if, if that password was correct, that would go ahead and log you in. Now, if you guys do have some issues, which I also did, and some of the viewers that I've also mentioned and recommended me to mine Epic, uh, they mentioned that they was having issues, you know, with actually trying to mine this and get themselves logged into the pool. So if you do have that issue, then just make sure that you go ahead and, not sure it is, but yeah, go ahead and press on the contact us and then go contact them through the Telegram because I went through and I spoke to them and it was step by step, they walked me through exactly how to set up my uh, minor file so I really really do appreciate them and, and I'm sure they're gonna do the exact same thing for yourself as, and what they did uh, it was that they uh, changed my password and from the change of the password I was then able to log into my dashboard and then actually start to see my results so if we take a look over at a logged in account which will be my uh, account itself we can actually go ahead and start to see the hash rates and payouts and earnings so i haven't actually been doing this for too long just for a few hours just to get everything tested and get it set up and just make sure everything uh, was running perfectly fine uh, so as you can see here at the moment i'm running at 5.56 kilo hash so if we take ourselves back over to the minor stat pool and we throw in the hash rate that I had there, so that would equate to 0, 0 0.5. I've already placed this in here for us. And that would equate to around about 50 cents USDT, uh, sorry, USD uh, in fiat value uh, daily. So as you can see as well, the exchanges as well do have some volume as well. So they are uh, actively trading back and forth. And I haven't physically used a Vitex, uh, you know, before in the prior, but I have gone ahead and created myself an account just in case I did need to, you know, go ahead and, you know, sell some of the cryptocurrencies after I've done my test. So, guys, let me know down in the comments. Are you guys currently mining Epic Cash? Have you previously mined Epic Cash before? Uh, and let me know that what your opinions are on Epic Cash. Uh, and if you are new here or you've learned something new, uh, then please make sure to drop us a like and subscribe. And also, guys, as well, I will be releasing a another video straight after this as well uh, in regards to Epic cash as I do believe that there could be some potential in the dual mining aspect of uh, epic cash so I'm gonna be testing out some things along those lines and I'll be showing you guys how to do that so if that's something that you're interested then make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well so that you'll be able to be notified when that's released right guys I'll see you guys in the next video peace